What's going on guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode where today we're going to be checking out the brand new 2024 Hot Wheels Mud Studs 5 pack. Yes, how cool is this? A little bit of a uh, little image just there for the new logo for this series. And we'll have a quick look at all of these cars. Then check out the rest of the packaging. Yes, how cool is this? And flick it over for the back. There we have that really nice looking card art with the Silverado. Very, very cool to see. Uh, this pack includes the Baja Bone Shaker, the Blade Raider, the Chevy Silverado Off-Road, the Sand Blaster, and Terrain Storm. What a cool, cool lineup. And there's a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo there. You can pause and read that if you wish. And uh, there's a barcode, so maybe you can give that a scan and hopefully you can find this in your area. All right, now I've already sliced the top so we can get in here. Not too uh, long to do. Uh, there we go, have another quick look at the cars here. That's a nice color on that. There we go, very, very cool. And we'll start off with the Baja Bone Shaker. This is absolutely awesome. As you're probably all aware, the Bone Shaker is one of the most famous Hot Wheels car since that's ever been produced. And this is your off-road Baja version. Very, very nice. I do like these mud-colored off-road wheels. A little bit of black trim on there as well. Flat black paint job. And on the side there, <laughs> very, very cool skull, the number 68. And uh, the skull also has a mohawk. That's pretty funny. Uh, Baja, Baja Bone Shaker on the side there. It also has a checkered flag along the side there. A little bit of mud splatter, uh, some red pinstriping as well. Uh, you can see this has a very, very shiny chrome skull on the front there. Also has the fists right there as well. Big bash bar on the front. Some little spotlights in there too, I think. Yeah, it's really awesome. Huge engine sticking out of the bonnet there. Nice chrome side pipes at the side. This also comes with the spotlights on the roof there. Has a chrome interior, very, very nice. Chrome side skirts there. Spare wheel on the back, which is the same style as the wheels that are used on the car. Very, very nice to see. A little bit of an exoskeleton going on there. A little bit of a chrome rear bumper and all the muddy undercarriage there with all of that suspension work and everything there is very, very cool. And the opposite side has the same tempo. That is absolutely awesome, yes. And uh, there is the base for all of you base fans out there. Nice, very, very nice. What a cool car to start off this five pack with. Excellent. Then we'll get into, which one was this one? The Blade Raider, no, this isn't the Blade Raider. This is the Blade Raider. This one must be the Terrain Storm. Yes, the Terrain Storm. All right. Has a nice red colored paint job. Has the, oh, uh, is that orange or yellow? That's a yellow window and headlights and front spotlights just there, all part of that window piece. Wow, that is very, very cool. Also some spotlights on the top there as well with that same yellow window piece. And you can see it also in the top there. It also has the engine hiding away underneath there. That is absolutely awesome. Wow, that is pretty cool. Is that a V10? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, a 10 cylinder engine. Absolutely awesome. Now we also get the same muddy undercarriage with this, but this one comes with some more sandy yellow wheels. Uh, black detailing on there as well. You can see on the black bead locks just there. Hot Wheels, number 35, also has some mud splatter on the paintwork there. And also has HW graphics on the side. Wow, this is really, really awesome. A bit of texture on the front there. Looks like a bit of checker plating on the bonnet. Around the back, we get another spare wheel. Also has a lot of mud splatter all over the rear there. Well, that's actually a two section piece, but it does look like the bottom half is actually and muddy. I do like that. That's actually a really, really nice little touch that. Uh, although the wheel is not the same as the ones in uh, use on the car and the same tempo on the opposite side. I gotta say, that's actually pretty well designed. I do quite like the look of that. And uh, here is the base for all of you base fans. There we go. Wow. I'm actually quite impressed so far. 
other than the confusion of the uh, the listing on the names, uh, they switched these two here around for some reason. I'm not entirely sure uh, why they would do that, but not to worry because we can now move on to the Chevy Silverado off road. Very, very cool. Has a matte green, dark green color, has orange and black detailing tampos on the side there and also has that mud splatter going over those racing sponsor stickers on the side there as well. Uh, this one comes with really dark green, almost brown wheels. Are they? They're kind of like a, a mixture between green and brown wheels. It's a very odd color, uh, but also comes with the nice orange chrome bead locks. So that looks really, really cool. I do quite like the look of that. The colors are an odd color, uh, but they do work. On the front there you can see it has no headlight details but you can see it has the Chevy badge in the center and some spotlights on the front of that bull bar just there. It's got the skid plate there, a little bit of checker plating by the looks of it too. Front has also got some mud splatter along with those black and orange tampo designs. Black stripes over the bonnet and the roof. And a little bit of a shot at the interior. It's a black interior so kind of hard to see inside. Uh, nothing in the bed in the back. There's the rear just there, no tail light tampos or anything like that, but still very, very cool. Uh, black bumpers all around and the same tampo on the opposite side. Yeah, I do quite like the look of this one as well. I love the mud splatter, how it actually stretches all the way up to the rear of the, the uh, tailgate there. Yeah, you'll have to let me know what you guys think of the Chevy, Chevy Silverado off-road. And there's the base there for you, base fans. Also has a lot of extra uh, protection there on the casting. Wow, that's really, really well designed. I love it how they put extra details on the base of the cars. Yeah, very, very cool. And there we go, the Chevy Silverado off-road. Next up is the Sand Blaster. Bright, bright yellow. Uh, this one comes with the Ford Performance racing livery on the side there, as you can see, Ford Performance. Uh, I'm not too sure how many of you are aware, but this car is actually based off the Ford Raptor. And if you look very closely behind the bull bar there, it does actually say Ford. Kind of hard to see on the angle, but on the grill, it does actually say uh, Ford just there. Uh, can't quite get a good angle, but trust me, uh, this is based off the Ford Raptor. Nice wheels uh, these are like a uh, mixture between a gray and a brown color wheel uh, black five spoke bead locks on there as well they look really really cool nice and tough looking uh, no headlight details some little vents on the bonnet there in the casting spotlights on the roof part of the window piece a little bit of a shot of the interior not a bad interior actually quite a lot of stuff in there hopefully you guys can see all of the details as well uh, we get the mud splatter on the side there. You get that dirty base also once again, all the mud splatter coming up over the tampo on the side there. Very, very cool mud splatter all over the rear. Black and red stripe, I think that says HW in reverse just there. Bit of an exoskeleton roll cage over the rear bed. Uh, fuel cell by the looks of it in the rear. Uh, more cage work around the back there. Uh, no tail light tampos or anything like that, unfortunately, uh, but still a very, very cool, cool car. And uh, there we go, HW on the side there. Yeah, that is absolutely awesome. So the tempo is actually reversed on this car. That's awesome. And there is the base once again. For all of you base fans, oh, we also get all of the extra uh, diff protection and everything like that. Very, very nice to see. Yeah, quite happy with that. I do actually quite like the Sand Blaster. It's one of my more preferred castings. And the last car, the final car from the 2024 Hot Wheels Mud Studs series is the Blade Raider. Very, very cool. Nice metallic blue paint job. Has a, quite a lot of fire details all over the front there. That's really awesome. Also has some mud splatter over the front there as well. Number six, uh, you can see the chrome suspension just there. On the front, you can see it has some headlights in chrome and a few little spotlights just there by the looks of it. 
a little bit of a uh, aerodynamic front end of this car. Uh, brown wheels with the gold five spokes. That's pretty cool. Those gold stars look pretty awesome. Uh, right hand drive car. Ah, yes, that's absolutely cool. I do quite like the right hand drive castings. And uh, you can see it also has a lot of chrome work in the front there, hiding behind the front wheel. A lot of detail on this in the casting itself. Uh, you actually have to find this pack for yourself to be able to see all of these details. It also has the exhaust sticking out there, big giant wing on the back. Oh, that's absolutely cool. It looks to be a roof scoop just there. And you can see there is the exhaust pipes in chrome sticking out the back. Oh, that is absolutely cool. I do quite like this one as well. And there we go. That is the Blade Raider. What a great way to finish off the Hot Wheels Mud Studs 5 pack. Uh, there is the base for all of you base fans. And there we go. We'll wrap up the video. I really, really hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I reckon these are fantastic selection of cars for this pack. Uh, don't forget to put your comments down below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And until next time, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all then.